Bienvenidos a Green Room, yo soy Natasha Gargiulo. Has tenido un amigo imaginario, todos lo tuvimos, ¿cierto? De la mente imaginaria del director John Krasinski llega If, acerca de una niña que descubre que puede ver a los amigos imaginarios de todo el mundo y emprende una aventura para reunirlos con sus criadores adultos. Como amigos, John Krasinski y Ryan Reynolds llevaban años queriendo creer esta película. What if I told you imaginary friends are real? I had this idea to do a movie about imaginary friends a long time ago, and I brought it to um, this up-and-coming actor named Ryan Reynolds, and uh, he and I were talking about doing a movie together, and I said, I have this idea about imaginary friends, and I'm still uh, figuring out exactly what it would be about, but would you want to be a part of it? And he was like, yes. This is a movie that John and I have been talking about for years now, um, so way before the script was ever even written, we were kind of banging back ideas back and forth about this. And so I thought if I do a movie through the eyes of this little girl and actually show how imagination is not only um, this powerful tool uh, to have fun, but also this en enormous coping mechanism to make sense of things that um, might be difficult to make sense of otherwise. This movie is my dream role. Like. These are my dream people. This is my dream cast. Um, dream story. I can help you. How? Because I'm a kid. You are the chosen one. No, no. Let's not give her a complex. In the audition process, she came in and read uh, with John and I, and, and, you know, it was like one of those situations, like it always is. It's It really is always the same. It's when somebody walks in and they just they just are the person you know within the first sentence that comes out of them. You just, you know, even though we'd already read with some pretty striking and incredible young actors, uh, the second Kaylee walked in, she just spoke and you just knew. I mean, John and I kind of looked at each other. It was almost like, why are we, why, do, why continue? Kaylee Fleming is one of the more talented actors I will ever have the pleasure of working with. She has um, the skill level of someone who has been working for 50 years. Um, I'm not quite sure how that's possible, but she has this contained confidence, um, this unbelievable ability to take notes and do exactly what you're asking her to do, and all the while with a huge smile, and I believe mathematically every single take ended with uh, two hands up for a double high five. Every single time. I can find anyone. Anywhere. Oh, he got my mouth. Thanks for doing this. Don't look him in the eye. Which one? Yeah, that's gonna grow right back. Ryan is one of the funniest people on the entire planet. Um, he's so, he's kind, he's caring, he's everything you could ever want in a friend and a co-star. In my opinion, Ryan Reynolds is one of the most talented people we have ever had in this business, full stop. Not only is he clearly wildly funny, um, but he is so enormously talented in his performance. He has the ability to draw you in with his charm, uh, with his comedy, but then also make these hairpin turns uh, of emotion. He knows that um, timing isn't just about jokes. Timing is also how you get uh, an emotional reaction out of someone too. I struggle to think of a, a filmmaker that hasn't, that, that, that's been more informed by their own parenthood and children than John Krasinski. I mean, he's, uh, I feel like that, it really cemented his, his, um, his language as a filmmaker, uh, uh, you know, being a, being a dad and being a husband and being, you know, um, the parent to two little girls, you know, I think uh, it sort of informs, he filters all of his storytelling through that prism and I, and I think it's beautiful. I had always wanted to make a movie for my kids. Um, I had thought about a world that I would love to live in um, and honestly it came out of getting to spend time uh, around an eight-year-old and a six-year-old and the years before that, uh, a whole lot, and getting to see the power of imagination. 